Let's get started. It may be necessary to cut your panels during an installation. In this example, a homeowner is cutting a corner panel in half and then cutting the required step in the panel. To assist in keeping your panels level and straight, snap a chalk line every six inches. Next, we'll mix the mortar. In this case, the homeowners are adding an acrylic additive to ensure a stronger bond with the veneer panels and matted flagstone. To test for the correct consistency, the mortar should stick to the trowel but shake off easily. Apply an even coat of mortar, about a half inch thick, completely covering your panel. In this installation, our homeowners start with the outside corner, leaving space for the opposing corner panel to interlock. Check the orientation of the panel to make sure it's facing the direction you intend, then place it on the wall. The target lines we've drawn on the wall are helpful in placing the panels, but it's a good idea to adjust each panel precisely using a level. Make sure the panel stays firmly in place. If there's a gap between the bottom of your first course and the ground, the panel may have a tendency to slide downward with gravity. You can use a straight board or shims to keep the first course in place. Once your lowest course is dried, the remaining courses will have a strong, level foundation to rest on. Continue the installation using a level and chalk lines as your guide. In order to keep the panels level, you may need to use a small shim underneath the panel. If there's a gap between your corner panels, here's an easy solution. Measure the gap, cut a small piece of stone, fill the gap with mortar using a grout bag, then simply insert the piece of cut stone into the gap. To ensure your installation is plumb, use both horizontal and vertical levels. Once each course is completed, double check to make sure you're level. Here is our finished leadstone entryway. Notice how the inside corners meet and how these outside corners interlock, concealing the saw cut notches but leaving the natural surface of the leading edges exposed. Just as if each individual stone had been laboriously picked, cut, and placed by hand. But with east-west leadstone veneer, it's only taken us a matter of hours to create a look that will last a lifetime.